Unlike drink driving, which can be breath tested, checking for the influence of drugs is more difficult. What we're going to do is what's called a fit test, okay, a field impairment test. So look just straight ahead, don't look at me, just open my hand. I'm just going to put the card up to the side of your face, I'm just going to measure the size of your pupils. So look straight ahead, thank you. A fit test, called a field impairment test. It's like in the American cops where they, you know, get somebody to walk a straight line, touch the nose with their fingers, that kind of thing. Yeah, and the other side, just keep looking straight ahead. OK, thank you. And it just shows that if somebody's got balance or coordination or can follow instructions. When I tell you, tilt your head back slightly, close your eyes, and then uh, when you think 30 seconds has passed, uh, bring your head forward, open your eyes, and say stop. OK, so, OK, begin. If someone is using drugs, the time perception test can indicate what that drug is. If they're on speed, um, they'll be finished within 20 seconds. Whilst if they're on cannabis or something like that, they'll count um, up to, I don't know, 40 seconds. So how long was that? I would say it was 27, maybe, I don't know. OK, no The fit that. test can't prove the driver is on drugs, but it will tell Mark and Paul if they need to take her in for a blood test. When I tell you, you must raise your right foot six to eight inches or 15, cent 15 to 20 centimetres off the ground, keeping your uh, legs straight and your toes pointing forward whilst counting aloud in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002 and so on until I tell you stop, OK? Right. 1,001, I can't, I can't do it. Why not? I'm spawning 1,001, 1,002. Yeah. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. I'm going downwards, aren't I? Oh, dear. You want me to go down, don't you? No. Um, unfortunately for you, my dear, you failed it miserably. Really?